Welcome back to the Embark Wizard, and we're back with another Epic Universe update from BioWeek. Uh, plenty of progress working are uh, going on this project right now. We're going to focus this time on some of the other lands we didn't get to in the last video, so specifically the Dark Universe and Super Nintendo World, plus some backstage theming that is being uh, soon to be applied to these lands, and some theming that has already been applied to some lands. So I love it. We're starting to get into this home stretch where it's going to open again in less than. Uh, less than a year and a half so now we're gonna start seeing some final touches being applied to some of these lands i'm very excited so let's hop aboard and let's take this epic universe train starting today with the dark universe looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous we're gonna start here with the portal yes this is the portal for the dark universe and still what i think will be the best themed portal to all out of all the four lands you can see these kind of you know evil looking twisted tree trunks here um there's still a little bit of steel left on left on the top arrow there but lots of that theming and painting have, has started on those tree trunks and just looks absolutely gorgeous right now popping over to the village area this is rumored to be called dark you can see some theming popping up on the walls there lots of scaffolding and sh uh, building shapes still being formed but the buildings themselves are fully uh built the fully constructed and some theming has popped up you can see by the number one there and where the number two is now will be access to a backstage gate um so that will not be in guest view moving up to the back of the land where our two rides and one restaurant are this is probably my favorite section of the land because um at least my favorite picture of this batch because i i love this theming I'm starting to pop on to frankenstein's manor here i mean look at that manor facade wow i mean right by the number three there that's absolutely incredible you can see the the top point of the ride there um the top point of this entrance center in between number one and two is under heavy heavy scaffolding but has some theming starting to show as well even some theming will be right where the door will be um kind of reminds me of harry potter and the forbidden journey with that those two kind of gargoyles uh right there those dragons this is kind of something similar but right by the door and this is that grand entrance there which looks absolutely fantastic and you see the small gift shop with the kind of twisted um roof there uh and blue right at the exit of the attraction is looking all and nice and done as well but going back to the main entrance you can see the bridge and little archway the archway is still steel but the little kind of bridge or pathway there they're building some like gothic type fencing leading right into the entrance and it looks just absolutely gorgeous moving up to the curse of the railroad uh rumored to be a mock spinning coaster here and a lot of work still happening on the queue area the coaster has been done and the the roofs have been weather are weather being weatherproof right now there's a couple of show scenes one of them is done and that's under the bar instruction number two that second show scene is a final show scene and it's being under some scalping right now it's currently being built going into the station but a lot of the stuff a lot of that dirt you see is where the outdoor queue is going to be and there will be some structures in there as well to help shield you from the sun and also be thematically appropriate there's some trees that have matted on the outskirts of the coaster to make the area more beautiful but also gothic and creepy and it just looks absolutely gorgeous Taking a more wider shot at the back of this land, where there the windmill restaurant, um, which will be partially buried under a hill, is under construction right now. You can see the windmill itself is under scaffolding, at least the windmill structure, and the theming to that will be coming later. And then that will be lighting on fire every 15 or 30 minutes um, as part of a nice, cool thematic effect. There is again that lovely manor facade for the frankenstein attraction the manor attraction and another look at the curse of the werewolves um nice little turn there um and second that's a again the, the swing launch under that the barn like structure there taking a close look at the windmill restaurant yeah you can see some of that mountain facade starting to pop on in a lot of rock work trying to pop over there and that little area of uh area that's walled in that's by dirt that'll just be more dirt and that'll be 
again they're gonna make it like as if we're walking to a hill and their entrance is in between those two walls right there so that'd be a pretty cool thematic element next we're gonna move into something we usually i haven't really covered here on this channel with, with the videos but bio Re reconstruction has been posted posted some of these pictures before and there's some backstage elements here so these are elements these are theming elements backstage there's some from every land so we can see here is clearly super nintendo world and you have the the ice structures um some stuff from bowser some stuff from the pyramids and some stuff various parts of the land looks very very cool and there's some other thematic elements from other lands as well for example you have some backstage elements of how to train your dragon right now the isle of burke you can see and those cartoony type hills looks right from the movie and it's going to be a new live action movie coming out next year and then even some stuff from the universal plazas this will be that grand entrance area not yeah kind of see that familiar shape you know, they have something similar universal studios florida and islands of adventure already here's more aerial sh aerial shot of the backstage area as you can see uh yeah they're all three really close together all those thematic elements which is went through we can even see some monster stuff to the top right corner over there but there's all in a dirt lot way in the back of epic universe and you're seeing some more elements down to the south there um for other lands but this one looked like super nintendo stuff uh yeah a lot of those elements are will be coming in including the hills to super nintendo world and let's jump over into super nintendo world or donkey kong, donkey kong country right now looking at this aerial shot of donkey kong country this is kind of a lateral aerial shot again you can see the lift hill the initial lift hill to the donkey kong mine car mad madness attraction still a lot of a steel going up for the theming of the temple facade and some painting over to the right hand side where number two is for the temple facade but yeah there's the donkey kong meet and greet areas coming up all the track has been done and this is a, a big project so we'll start to see more theme but all the railroad ties have been initiated all the fake track i think is done now doing the nitty gritty some of the interior stuff and some of the exterior theming and a lot of that stuff is going to come from the the back there the uh, staging area we just looked at there's the epic universe parking lot which has a lot of construction workers parked in it not sure what the buses are for maybe they're shuttling additional workers from other lots but that is yeah about what i think they said ten thousand workers per day um at a time at the peak so that's pretty intense here's a close look at that meet and greet area that would be under that hut looking structure and some more look at the completed railroad ties and some of the th more thematic elements of the donkey kong country taking a super quick semi detour from super nintendo world this is rumored to be that nintendo store that'll be just outside land but attached to a restaurant here in celestial park the theming is looking great for this space themed building and generic looking building but yeah the facades are coming out looking great so i can't wait to see uh what this very large nintendo store will hold taking a look inside the mushroom kingdom you got the facade for peach's castle the entrance to peach's castle coming up right there under that weatherproofing siding right there that's where you'll be coming out of when you come up those escalators then taking a look at the bigger picture of the mushroom kingdom you can see the bridge will be the entrance to donkey kong is shaping up nicely as well as the bridge above it which will hold the yoshi attraction the elevator is looking complete both of them and a lot of thematic elements starting to pop in mount beanpole has a whole bunch of um, concrete on it getting ready for its installation of theming and then of course the flagpole on top but yeah the mushroom kingdom looks absolutely fantastic here's another shot of that mushroom kingdom at number two um you can see there's mount beanpole and the entrance to the one up fat no that'll be the entrance to yoshi's adventure uh toso cafe at number four is it has its entrance ready to go and a lot of that again that weatherproofing yellow yellow siding there for bowser's castle and a, a big open space on top to go ahead and walk around here's the entrance portal to super nintendo World. i think this will be the second coolest one because of course you're going through a warp pipe and also gets to go up an escalator or elevator to your destination which would be super cool number three is that entrance to the warp pipe number two and four are exit tunnels and backstage areas but yeah can't wait to see this all come up and start shape up this opens in a year and a half summer 2025 so just under uh two years basically and 
yeah, I'm very excited for their flying along with this project and flying along with the Universal Hollywood projects as well. So I cannot wait for what's coming to Universal. What do you guys think about all this Epic Universe? What's your favorite land? Which land are you most ex uh, excited for based on what you see with the theming? And out of the rumored rides, which one seems to be your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have an epic day.